Hey guys, good guys, it's here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about bags, things that people are buying to help carry their equipment or to be fancy or, you know, to show off. Nonetheless, I uh, accumulated a little bit of a pile of bags during the years and I am very happy to show them to you. All of them are the ones that I love and the ones that I didn't, I either threw away or give them as a giveaway. Probably some of these will go for a giveaway at 500 subscribers, so stay tuned. I'm trying to make a nice giveaway for those of you who are subscribed in the channel. And when we reach 500, we'll probably have a great giveaway, but that's, that's for another video. Today we're talking about bags, so let's start with the ones that I really, really love. First of all, I uh, bought these bags and Full disclaimer, these bags are not expensive. I can put links in the description below for you guys to check them out. Um, these are bags, not necessarily branded bags or something like that. I just bought them because I love the design and I love the way uh, they carry my uh, equipment. So uh, this is the first one. This is a messenger bag made by Easterer, I think it is. Um, this is a very nice canvas bag and um, the only problem that I have is that the one that I, you just heard, the sound of the Velcro, but nonetheless, I think that's a trade-off that you, we have to accept. Either you have Velcro or a zipper or just magnets. I think magnets are the best, but for me, it doesn't matter much. I'm not using this for weddings all the time, and if I'm using it, I'm not gonna just pop up the lid uh, all the time. Uh, so this is... The Sterrer, uh, I bought this one probably three, four years ago. I really love the canvas on this one. It's waterproof. Uh, it actually holds well in um, the rain. And I uh, I do use it a lot, especially for street photography. It's not small. Um, as you tell, it's, it's a little bit big, um, but it has a lot of pockets. You can put your iPad on the back. You can uh, even put your iPad inside right here. Uh, it does have a special um, pocket for it. It holds probably two cameras and a lens or two uh, lenses and a camera with a lens on it. It does have, like I said, uh, pockets all over. Uh, you have front pockets that have all kinds of stuff. There you go, this is the lens cleaner. So this one, it's the one that I probably use the most, uh, though it, as you can tell, it has some scratches and a little bit of uh, uh, dirt on it. It does feel very well, it's very comfortable. It does have a, a padded um, strap that you can adjust to your own likings. I do love this one. I uh, will probably buy it again if I can find it. But like I said, these are not branded ones. So they're usually not on the market all the time. Now, the second one, it's actually my wife's, but I'm using it because I love it. It's more like a, a purse, but it does look good and it feels very well. Um, this one was made it by only if I can find it. Like I said, I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description below. Uh, I bought it from b &H for my wife and uh, she was using it intensively. Good thing about this one is the fact that it does uh, have two ways to carry. One are the ears uh, that you can uh, attach a strap to and just wear it either in front or on the side, whatever you want. One uh, hand in, one uh, hand out. And also has two uh, belt loops that you can uh, throw your belt through them and just having it on your side or on your back, especially for your wedding photographer, that will be very, very helpful for you. Uh, I didn't use it much, like I said, because it was hers, but I do love the way it looks and the form factor. It is very small, very portable. It's made out of some sort of uh, polyester. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but it does have leather on the front. Uh, it's, it's very, very weatherproof. So this for street photography, it's amazing. Uh, I can easily throw one of my uh, film cameras inside and maybe another lens if I want to. It's perfect, it's not heavy at all. And you can have it, like I said, on your belt or on your shoulder. Now, another bag that I actually got with probably one of the cameras 
or something like that. Is this rugged? Uh, I think rugged is pretty well known these days. But uh, this rugged, uh, it's pretty much the same like that one, but it's a bit smaller. It only takes one camera or one lens or two lenses, something like that. But you have all kinds of pockets. You have uh, everything uh, that um, will help you be on the street and have everything um, close to you, uh, batteries and cards and everything else like, uh, you know, rolls of film. This is probably the um, smallest that I have and I uh, do really like it. I don't uh, really dig this yellow combination with black, but it doesn't look bad at all. It does have uh, these loops on the back as well, so you can put it on your belt if you're wearing a belt. Uh, on your pants. Uh, it's it's a great one. Very rugged. It's very well built. Um, I will probably um, advise you buying one of those if you're going on the street because you want to be uh, mobile. You, you, you want to be fast and uh, you don't have uh, to ha carry all the time all the weight on a huge backpack or something like that. And we're going to the backpack as well. I am um, going to show you which one okay let's start with this one this is my uh wedding backpack slash uh roller um, i am um, using this one for my job for a an year and a half now this was uh, made uh, by um none other than newer uh, the company that uh, everybody says that they're, they're doing very well these days, but uh, I believe that this one is pretty well built. Uh, the quality is not perfect. You will have all kinds of small uh, pieces of uh, material falling off in time, but it did hold uh, well. Um, I, I don't think it's uh, worn off the way it should. On the back, it does have some sort of leather. I think it's PU leather. Uh, that it's scratched but it's still holding up very well uh, this plastic is durable it does have uh, wheels so you can carry it with it because like I said it's a roller um, this one actually helped me carry all my Sony equipment when I was shooting Sony and you know Sony they have huge huge uh, lenses uh, as you can tell there are all kinds of problems but you'll get used to it for the money you pay for this one you won't get anything better and it's very rugged a little bit heavier than i i would want it to but like i said it's just a, a cheap case i'm not investing in big cases because i used to have uh, owner cases when i was shooting photojournalism and i was traveling a lot but when for what i'm doing right now i think these cheap cases they're doing well and i wanted to show them to you because i believe that for you will do well especially if you're uh, not into the fancy uh, fashion style stuff uh, now for the last one it's my backpack and i want to show you how easy you can uh, build a backpack a photo backpack out of a uh, simple backpack this is a um, highland tactical backpack um, it's a very very rugged one it's uh, the material is weatherproof it's more like um, military backpack and it does have all the bells and whistles all kinds of straps and holders uh, you can um, put any kind of hooks right here on the top actually I showed you the carabines last time these ones are going very well right here you can put water bottles or whatever you you want um, it does have tons of pockets some of them are fixed some of them can be removed like this one here uh, you can just uh, pop it out the velcro it's super powerful it holds many many things the padded on the back it's well well uh, made you can put your laptop in this bag here like i said this one is more like a, a tactical one so it wasn't made for um, photo but i'm going to show you how easy you can transform it in a photo a backpack because it's easy to uh, just uh, stay under the weather with your backpack and be safe uh, not, not dragging a lot of attention of you and your gear you can buy one of these this is a um, an insert same company and this video is not sponsored by newer it, it will be stupid but it's not sponsored by newer uh, i think that they make they're making good stuff and that's why i'm going with them other than other companies 
this is an insert that you will have pretty much everything you need even for a wedding uh, two cameras three four lenses batteries and everything else right here and it's pretty small it's smaller than the messenger bag that i showed you it's uh, pretty well built and uh, i do really enjoy this one um, it goes right into the backpack i'm gonna show you in a moment it's a little bit tough let me see if i can get a bit wider to show you this so it goes in the backpack like this and the only problem is you will have to open the backpack all the way but it's well protected from, from the elements um, you have any everything you need and you also have a lot of space i have a lot of space on top here to put like a t-shirt or water food and anything else like i said many 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 pockets i uh, actually recommend you buying one of these backpacks this would probably 30 40 dollars and um with the insert you're gonna go around 60 bucks but you have a very very solid backpack to travel to hike um, it's a very sturdy backpack that will hold you many many years for sure that's pretty much it that's all i have this is all my bags and uh, backpacks i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and subscribe uh, give these videos a thumbs up if you like them or a thumbs down uh, both helps with the algorithm and it helps me understand what i'm doing also uh, don't forget to put your comments in the box down below and let me know what bags are you using are you a fancy guy are you a fashion guy are you more like a practical guy Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a bit.